no 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 listen listen no 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 listen listen no 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 I think I'll do a wrap around wrap around Um, you know, I suppose. No more question because I'm a little mad and I'm tired. Thank you. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. Quite frankly, it would never be that serious. Never. Oh my God! Side eye. Side eye. Some people will go through books of the Quran and they'll read page after page and feel like nothing's hitting me. Nothing is striking me. Nothing is interesting. Nothing is grabbing my attention. I don't know what's wrong with me. Go look at your lifestyle. See how many times you're tempted to do something and you give in and you give in and you give in. But if you do the opposite, if you say, oh, I'm tempted to do this, I'm going to say no to that one. I'm tempted to do this, I'm going to say no to that one. You're going to find, bi'ithnillahi ta'ala, that because you're applying taqwa in your life, then when you open up even one page, one ayah of the Qur'an, it's going to hit you more. My sister, the day that you realize that true happiness, true happiness will come when you have a relationship with Allah, is the day you start to live life. Yes, especially for younger children. Younger children don't listen, they, they imitate. You know, one time there was a camera like this in a conference and my father was walking past and he ducked his head every time he walked past. He ducked his head. Then a two-year-old boy came. He ducked his head and he walked past. <laughs> he doesn't need to duck his head. Why is he, why is he ducking his head? Because he thought, yeah. That's it. That's it. This is the first thing. If we work hard on ourselves, if, if we rub everything out, if we work hard on ourselves, we are in the masjid for salah, we are reciting Quran, we are working hard, we are uh, respecting our parents, the children will watch and learn. If you just do this, it's, 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 you've done a great job. You have to become up to scratch. We have to become up to scratch for our children. We are the role models. They don't see the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu They see you and me. If we become like Muhammad Sallallahu they will learn about the sunnah. If we tell them Muhammad, 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 and seven up in one hand, and feet up, and TV on, and stuff happening on the TV, and missing salawat, then they're not going to learn anything. In fact, we are going to be a negative influence. اللهم أرح قلبي ونفسي وجسدي وأبعد عني ما يزعج خاطري ربي أحتاجك معي بكل لحظة أمر بها يا رب مدني بصبر ليس له آخر ومن بعد صبري فرحة تسكن أعماقي ربي أسألك أن تريح قلبي وفكري وأن تصرف عني شتات العقل والتفكير رب كن معي في أصعب الظروف أرني عجائب قدرتك في أصعب الأيام يا فرج الهم يا كاشف الغم فرج همي ويسر أمري وارحم ضعفي وقلة حيلتي وارزقني من حيث لا أحتسب هذا الموضوع أخذ من وقتي أخذ من همي أخذ من راحتي and even islamically bro women have so there's so much beauty in islam when it comes to women bro mm. they are so blessed what it, jannah is under the feet of your mother do you know what i'm saying when somebody asked our prophet um sallallahu alayhi wasallam, they asked him i know i'm supposed to love allah mm. and i know i'm supposed to love you but who do i love next he, like so it's number one allah number two you and the prophet replied number three your mother mm. and he said who's number four he said your mother mm. he said who's number five he said your mother mm. Your mother, your mother, your mother. He said your mother three times. Then he said your father. Mm. That's that. If that doesn't show the importance of a woman, I don't know what else to say in it. Wow. That's that's the most that's the most important thing. Mm. As a man or a woman, heaven is underneath the feet of your mother, in it. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The biggest child in a marriage between a husband and a wife in today's society, unfortunately, is the man rather than the woman. We get told before we get married. Every man gets told by anyone that's religious by getting married. 
you're completing half your deen, my brother. And they don't give no explanation after what he's just said to him. So now what happens is the brother thinks, you know, I'm going to get married. Half my deen's complete because, you know, I'm not going to do haram anymore. Or saved myself from haram, as in having relationships with other women. But that's not the only reason why your iman is complete through marriage. That's one of the reasons. The actual reason is a woman is created to test the patience of a man to the next level. She will cry for reasons you don't know. She will get angry for reasons you will never be able to figure out. She will say things to you that will make you furious. She will she will confuse you. But you are the one. Oh, just know that we were dying laughing here like we were cackling i'm sorry i can't share it Assalamu alaikum. I'm mind blown. Let me tell you why. Lately, many people have asked me, what am I looking for in a man? And I'm sure many Muslim people can relate. Girls, guys, actually both. My response, my immediate response without going into detail is just basically the bare minimum of a Muslim. The things that make a person a Muslim. Like I just say, prays five times a day, has good character, and tries to follow the sunnah of the Prophet And these are the responses that I get. You want a sheikh? You're not gonna find an extremist. People like that don't exist. No one's perfect. Okay, I'm here to tell you don't lower your standards. You're literally asking just the bare minimum of a Muslim, of a person in general. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make the impossible possible. Don't let anyone lower your standards for you when you're, by the way, asking for the bare minimum. 